throw into the box. Gets the first flick on. And Griffiths, very lucky as that ball bounced up. Could have hit him anywhere. But now Caesar is off to the races. Caesar, one on one. Burke getting back. And Burke gets a foot in, but Chapel arriving. And it's going to be a free kick for Trevin Caesar as the referee pulls it back for the foul. From not too far away from where they are now. Interesting to see who will take it. It's going to be Crittenden. Sensational. Didier Crittenden with another showstopper puts the Orange County Blues in front. Absolutely nothing Gore could do. I mean, what else is there to say really about this free kick? Perfect in every way. Execution, speed, placement. For ability as a goalkeeper. Mius intervenes. Crittenden slides it through for Mius. Flag stays down, back post. Excellent defensive play from Josh Phillips. Man. And it's Argetta. Burt. Continued his run, Burt. Good ball to the back post. And the header flashes just wide. And play on, says the referee. Griffiths, Crittenden. Bierman is back in and motoring down the near side. This is Bierman. Griffiths has continued his run. 14th minute free kick by Didier Crittenden. And the space is opened up here for Stefanovic. Back post! Ajekwa just missed it. Armstrong more of a winger and outside back. So no doubt to help out on the defensive side. But they're stretched here, switchbacks. Caesar, Caesar! The Blues could be making their way into the playoffs. It's his palace, his ninth goal of the season. And it could be a huge, huge goal for Orange County. Caesar has been knocking on the door the entire night and it's something that he's been doing the entire season. We talked about it at the beginning of the broadcast that Caesar took a little while to get into stride, but once he did, he, it was incredible. And now, this is about the fourth time he's been running out this back line. Finally just takes it himself, strikes it, nothing it can do. Ibiaga backs off too far off of Caesar from the run from Chapla, really of the overlap, created that space for Caesar to be able to push that ball inside, put it onto his preferred right foot. Can switch backs FC claw one back? They might hear. Real danger pulled back. Mabin taking his time. Shot charged down. Second shot is blocked. And the third one goes just wide. Suggs crowded out by three Blues defenders. Well, one more goal would really help the Blues cause. And they could get it here. It's Crittenden. What a save from Gorick. Chaplow gets on the rebound. Cuts it across. Caesar makes it three. Incredible scenes in Irvine. I think this picture speaks for itself, doesn't it? What it means to this franchise, this organization, this club, what it means to that man right there to be leading the charge. Two goals tonight, leading the team in goals after a great shot by Didier Crettenham. It was incredible. Richard Chaplas, Caesar just pulls off the back post. Gorit is nowhere to be found in that goal. Great header, great finish. And I mean, it's almost guaranteed at this point, 90th minute, 3-0. There's... There's still some time left. It finishes 3-2, Timbers 2 over Arizona United, but the Blues would have the goal differential if things hold, especially if Baruch can score here. It's Baruch. The Blues are on their way to the USL playoffs.
You take a look here. Or Bruce taking what a good finish. So cool, calm, especially in the moment. 95th minute to send the Blues 4 0 up. He knows what, what the moment means for this club. He's been on the thing we've said about this team from the beginning as Switchbacks FC found out in Colorado Springs, giving up that equalizer in the 97th minute. Never count this team out. And at the very end, they make their way into the USL postseason with a 4-0 win over Switchbacks FC.